the last Wednesday we had that snow day. It made us so mad because we love our class. I'll make it straight A's every class. I haven't done that since elementary school. Today we dissected a sheet frame. Um, always love the dissecting. Because the pictures, they can only show you one view. This one, you can pick it up, you can turn it, and look from any different way you want to. What's got these students excited about learning? Would you believe anatomy and physiology? Across the state of Texas, high school students are deciding on careers, what they want to be when they grow up. An increasing number are choosing the health professions. Anatomy and physiology is crucial information to these students as they advance in their careers. At Estacado High School in Lubbock, Texas, students in Starla Ewan's A&P class take a hands-on approach to learning anatomy with clay and model skeletons called mannequins. Just take your mannequin into your left hand here, pick him up, look up under through the axillary region. Where's that? Today we are reinforcing the muscle concepts that they've learned prior to class by building the trapezius group. And what they do is they form the three parts of the muscle by attaching in their origin and insertion and then striating it and then they act out the movement. So they reinforce how the muscles work functionally. The bones, they can label with their pencils, so they learn the skeletal system with their models. We do the clay muscles, they'll build brain, spinal cord and nerves in clay, heart, blood vessels, they'll even do lymph. Lymph is wonderful because you can't dissect for that. And then they'll also add a urinary system to it. And there's other systems that can be added, but that's pretty much what we get done in the year. What's the most common pattern you've seen in the muscles? The fan, wide origin, Small insertion, good power, isn't it? I expected boring pictures, lots of note taking, and this class has just blown those out of the water. We do so many cool things, far better than what I thought it was going to be. We build mannequins. She's given us flashcards to study with, which makes things very easy. And these mannequins give us lots of hand-on, hands-on experience. The hands-on stuff helps because it shows us what size the muscles are going to be and um, the layering because with pictures you don't see how everything connects and with hands-on you can. I'm dyslexic and I'm also a kinesthetic learner. I have to touch things, I have to feel things, so by making the muscles and attaching it and striating it that attaches it from my hand to my brain, and then when I see it, I know. Origin, insertion, what's its action? Pulls that shoulder, feel it, pulls that shoulder back, doesn't it? It makes it, it makes it so much easier, being able to feel it and see it and build it. It's just putting it all together is what makes it so much easier. Well, most students learn anatomy either through handouts or dissection. And the problem with that is it turns into being a memorization game. So by using the hands-on clay, the students actually build a muscle according to function. And so they have to make the correct attachment and cross the joint, and then they act it out. So now they're learning it by building it, and they're learning it by acting it out. And then they can associate the muscle name according to why it's named instead of just memorizing it so it makes more sense to them so they can remember it. Where is it attaching? Because it reinforces concepts instead of memorization, it really helps us cover and associate all the standards, whether it be national, state, or local. So it helps correlate when you, when you do concepts and you help reinforce those, such as um, how one system associates to another. And when a student can associate the material they're learning in class to their world, it helps cover those standards for them. All right. Now, then you see the serratuses, pec minors, rhomboids. The curriculum that we use is based on the college curriculum. So the students will receive uh, information over the cell, detailed over the cell, tissues, 
and then they will do muscular, or they do skeletal and then muscular, nervous system, endocrine, and then they go through cardiovascular, and uh, we'll do some renal and respiratory. They do the major systems that they're going to get in college, but we, we either reduce the amount down to 60 or 80 percent. In this case, with the muscular skeletal, they're actually receiving 90 to 95 percent more than what they're going to get in college. In college, a lot of times, it's quick. They get a week to two weeks to learn bones and muscles, and then they're scooting through. So this gives them a really big head start to not getting weeded out in that college class. This project was very exciting for me. It was hard, but at the same time, it was, it was fun. And you have to figure it out. It's a lot of problem solving and teamwork, and it's just it's fun and hard and easy and exciting all at the same time. How you doing, Albert? All right, have your notes up? What number are we, three? I always tell them when they first walk in here, you're not going to be the same person when you leave. They learn study skills to help them in all their classes. Um, they also learn that they can learn, that they can learn complicated material, and it's really not that scary. And they get confident, and it's really great to watch them blossom into self-learners. So they're not so dependent on, well, I have to have the teacher for this. I can do this. And that's really the biggest thing I see is they actually become their own people. That's the, that's the greatest thing to watch happen. Training workshops are available for teachers to learn more about how to use these hands-on techniques. Reach down here to your mannequin's elbow. All right, and reach down to yours. All right, very good, okay. Now, you've all hit this before. Your funny bone, it's only funny to those who watch you hit it. <laughs> That's right, okay? So this is the funny bone, and you can't be funny without a sense of humor, okay? So I'm a sense of humor. So I can put an H on this because I'm humorous.